Hello everyone, my name is Tacos, and in this video, we're going to be talking about rune use as a Tempest, and also wall bouncing. Let's get into it. Oh, and one more thing. I know you guys are seeing this, uh, this pink crosshair on my screen. I'll be going over that towards the end of the video, so stick around. There are two runes that I highly recommend as a Tempest, and that would be Dash and Spring Step. These two runes specifically because of their low cooldown, outplay potential, and horizontal movement when you have nothing to wall bounce off with your Wind Gauntlet. Using Dash is possibly the better of the option of the two. Dash helps you close a gap between you and your enemy while also having high potential for being unpredictable. In this clip, I engage with my Dash, making my first shot easier to land. As the enemy gains distance from me, I use another dash to get closer to be able to more reliably land another fireball. In this clip, I'm using Toxic as my offhand, and I use dash to close the gap to be able to land a full Toxic slap on him. This is just one of the ways that dash can be used. In this clip, I use dash for repositioning instead of closing a gap. This can easily confuse your enemy, especially after taking a shot at them. Not only can you use dash to close a gap, it also has the most outplay potential as you can change the curve by moving your mouse or your right stick on your controller. Now let's talk about spring step. Spring step is like a giant leap that can be very confusing if you're near your enemy. Whether it's dash or spring step, using your rune after landing a shot is great for outplaying your opponent. Spring Step can also be used for closing a gap. If you levitate after using it, you carry the momentum of the rune and can travel a farther distance with it. Here's an example of that. Not only can Spring Step be used offensively, it can also be used to avoid taking damage as well. The same goes for Dash. Keep this in mind if you ever hear frost charging near you. On to wall bouncing. Wall bouncing is the act of using your wind gauntlet on a wall to push yourself from it. This can be used for travel, but also outplaying your opponent. There's a few clips here from beta, as I feel like they portray the mechanic very well. More often times than not, if you are able to wall bounce in a fight, you probably should as it's only going to give you more movement. Here's a few examples of wall bouncing, as well as me dodging an attack with it. And that's it for this video. I hope to help you become a better Tempest. And if there's anything else you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments below. Now, about the crosshair that I have, I will be leaving a link in the description of my friend Casper's tutorial video on how to have a custom crosshair and spell break. Until next time, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you in the Hollow Lands.